Once upon a time, there was a wealthy merchant named Lucius who lived in the heart of Rome. Lucius had always been driven by ambition and a desire for success, and he had amassed a vast fortune through shrewd investments and astute business deals. Despite his wealth and status, however, Lucius was never satisfied. He was always chasing after more money, more power, and more prestige. One day, Lucius received an unexpected visit from a wise old philosopher named Seneca. Seneca had long been admired for his wisdom and his stoic philosophy, which emphasized the importance of self-control, humility, and acceptance. Seneca had heard of Lucius's reputation as a wealthy and powerful merchant, and he had come to offer him some words of wisdom. Lucius, Seneca said, I have observed that you are a man who is always chasing after more. More money, more power, more status. But have you ever stopped to consider that you may not deserve what you want? Lucius was taken aback by Seneca's words. What do you mean? he asked. I mean, Seneca replied, that it is easy to want things. It is easy to desire wealth and status and power. But these things are not inherently valuable in and of themselves. They do not make you a better person. And if you do not deserve them, then they will never bring you true happiness or fulfillment. Lucius pondered Seneca's words for a long time. He realized that he had been pursuing wealth and status for their own sake, rather than for any deeper purpose or meaning. He also realized that he had been neglecting his relationships and his own personal growth in the pursuit of material success. With Seneca's guidance, Lucius began to adopt a more stoic perspective on life. He focused on cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and humility, rather than on accumulating wealth and power. He also began to appreciate the simple pleasures in life, such as spending time with loved ones, enjoying nature, and engaging in acts of kindness and generosity. In time, Lucius discovered that he had become a happier and more fulfilled person. He no longer felt the constant pressure to accumulate more and more wealth and status. Instead, he focused on living a life of virtue and meaning, one that was grounded in the stoic principles of self-control, humility, and acceptance. He realized that he did not deserve what he had been chasing after all along, but that he had been given a much greater gift, the opportunity to live a life of purpose and fulfillment.